current chromite, which is FeCr2O4. I was thinking to write it on the board, but I think there is no time for it. So it's uh, main oil is chromite. So let's go to the next section, which is the extraction. Uh, chromium can be extracted in two forms, in ferrochrome form and also in pure chromium metal form. Ferrochrome, as the name indicates, it's an alloy of iron and chromium. So to get this ferrochrome, we have to reduce the main ore, which is the chromite, so that we can get iron and chromium together, ferrochrome. This is the first. The second is the pure metal form. It has several steps, so I will discuss it uh, in much easier possible way. First, this chromite, or the main ore, is fused with sodium hydroxide and air. Then we can get sodium chromate, and we can get at the same time ferric oxide. Sodium chromate is soluble, and ferric oxide is insoluble. So to separate them from each other, first we have to dissolve, dissolve them together with water, and then we can use the decantation or filtration process to separate them. Then this uh, sodium chromate, which is soluble, it, acid, it becomes acidified by using hydrochloric acid and can get sodium dichromate. This sodium dichromate is less soluble. Then this sodium dichromate becomes reduced by using the carbon method and then we can get chromium free oxide. This chromium free oxide, again, it becomes reduced by using the element aluminium to get the pure form of chromium. These are the two steps of extraction. We finished occurrence, we finished extraction in just two minutes. So uh, the next step is um, chemical properties. I will discuss it in uh, three uh, chemical properties, which, would, which I think it would be enough. Uh, first, chromium is an active metal. And it is protected from corrosion by thin transparent film, which is chromium free oxide, uh, by using the reaction chromium with oxygen gives chromium free oxide. This is the first one. The second one is that chromium dissolves with hydrochloric acid and at the same time it dissolves with dilute sulfuric acid. And it, can gives, and it gives us blue chromium ion. This blue chromium ion is only stable in the absence of air. So in the presence of air, it changes into chromium free ion. This, uh, this shows the variability of chromium, which shows that chromium have different uh, oxidation num numbers ranging from minus to up to six. And this variability in its oxidation number gives us very beautiful uh, results and products. So let's go to the section of usage. First, we have ferrochrome, as we, as we mentioned earlier. Ferrochrome is an alloy of iron and chromium, as I mentioned earlier. And it is used in the production of a stainless steel. This is a stainless steel, which we, most of the time, we women use it for iftar in Ramadan. So, teacher, you can have a sample of it. <laughs> 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 so basically this is the stainless steel that we use ferrochrome to make it. Uh, the second one is chrome plating. Uh, as the name indicates, to get this beautiful spoon, this shiny appearance spoon, we use chrome plating. In which we use this spoon and we make the chromium to be plated on this spoon to get this shiny appearance. When uh, ghosts come for it flood, we can just present it simply and be proud of it. And we have also a sample of this spoon. <laughs> okay. Okay, listen. <laughs> have a good look for it. And the next one. And the next one is potassium chromate and sodium chromate. Now, as I mentioned earlier, chromium has a lot of oxidation number ranging from minus two to six. This different uh, oxidation number leads to different types of color, different beautiful color that we, most of uh, the people and human beings use. Uh, potassium chromate and sodium chromate gives us this bright yellow color. This bright yellow color, for example, you can use it for eat, hijab, and for t-shirts and different things. <laughs> <laughs> You have a sample of it. You can have a look at how bright the yellow color is. And the next one is that potassium chromate and sodium chromate, um, sorry, potassium dichromate and sodium dichromate gives us red orange color. Uh, it's reddish orange color. Uh, sorry for the absence of the sample. 
And the chromium oxide, which we mentioned earlier, it is used for um, partition of corrosion. It has a nice, attractive green color. Uh, and the last use that I'm going to mention is the nicochrome. Uh, we are working on this project on the formation of nicochrome ware, which is used in chemistry lab for, flam for flame test, as the name indicates, nickel and chromium. Uh, this is why we use chromium. And uh, the last part is that why do I like the company? and uh, how our customers have a lot of, uh, our company have a lot of sales for this hijab, for this spoon, and this stainless steel, and also different types of materials. Uh, and that's the reason why I like my company, because my customers feel proud of having uh, the items from it. And uh, this is basically why I need the $150,000 for 5% steel. Uh, it's just because we have some financial problems and we need you, the investors, to help us with this finance problem. And <laughs> thank you for uh, listening to me. And if you have any questions, welcome.